we have uh, Reed Hansen with us. He is the managing member of Karen Stack Software, which is a company that provides software for um, funeral homes, uh, among other businesses. And he's going to talk to us about some of the different things that they're doing to help bring funeral service a little more digital because as we know funeral service is not as digital as it can be so reed can you give us a kind of a a brief idea of what you guys do in funeral service and as a company in general and how your uh, your products can help uh funeral homes sure um well uh what more track does for funeral homes and um, removal companies and um other similar death care providers is to give a digital chain of custody to um, for their their company and for their customers. And um, this is particularly useful in um, like digitizing forms and paperwork um, and uh, itemizing billing and um, you know reporting. And basically, it becomes a uh, a standard operating procedure tool for um, for removal companies or the removal process within your funeral home. And that's important, especially um, for, for instance, funeral homes that don't have their own crematory. Well, I mean, I think it's important for anybody that is doing uh, doing the removal process because as a an example, um, like Amazon, when you order something from Amazon, like the other day I ordered a garbage can lid. I knew when it left the factory, I knew or when it left the seller, where it was in, in the, the transfer process, and then it was eight steps away or eight stops away. And then it knew it was on my doorstep. That's a garbage can lid. Right. And so people are used to and accustomed and expect that kind of um, uh, transparency in all parts of their life. Um, now does, does a, uh, end user that does the family or next kin need that level of, of, um, viewing? No. And we're not suggesting that you tell them that their eight steps stops away. However, there is a happy medium between running a business, running an effective business and still providing that backup or and, that, that transparency. And you give me the impression that this integrates with the forms and, and things as well to help to help run the whole process, not just tracking, That's not only correct. tracking the body. That's correct, because we do, we actually take your forms and digitize them. So when you're training a new employee or moving from a, an existing paper-based system to using an, you know, an iPad or your own phone, it's not as big of a change because you don't have to re-sign it. You don't have to go through and learn all the forms so your onboarding for an employee or for a new customer becomes lightning fast. Excellent. And so what do you think that people should expect to take away from the webinar? I know we're talking now just for full disclosure, we're talking in the middle of the summer. <laughs> you know, the, the the webinar is is into the fall. It's on September 19th. But what what can people take away from their, uh, what we can expect to take away from your talk i think people will be able to have an idea of what people are, are requiring or i mean what what end users and families are requiring for uh feedback um you know there's certain um use cases that if not use cases let's just say like standard operating procedures that um that that should happen or you may already be doing and you may be doing slightly different uh, we work with a lot of removal companies and a lot of funeral homes already and the process is is 90 percent similar from company to company and there's just a few differences um, but a lot of those can be um, put into the same so if as an example you have a funeral home and someday you want to sell that funeral home or that that removal process, the removal company, you have the processes in place. It will flow into another organization, um, and you know, big or small, and you'll be able to maximize a return on on the business you built. So, and it also may show you some efficiencies that you didn't even know exactly. you could make. 
Yep. I mean, it, it, from from our um, from actual data, not just you know making things up or or you know saying it's a marketing thing. Um, we're saving people a half hour per case on on documentation and um, delivery, just things that you didn't need to do before, you know, that you did before that you don't need to do now. So, and you know, that's 150 hours a year. That's like that's a month. That's, <laughs> that's two <lot>. weeks. <laughs> yes. It's a lot. Fantastic. And is there anything else that you think people should know before we before we sign off um, about you or about the company? Um, you know, it's the sometimes we, we talk with people that say, well, we're just too small for for your system. Uh, yeah. And the funny thing is, is if you have more than two or three people that will touch um, a uh, decedent, you're not too small. And the pricing is set, so you can start for as little as, I think it's $8 a case. Um, so if you do four cases a month, you're not too small. You have it documented, you can show long-term usage, and that will help um, you know, your funeral home or removal service be effective. And then we can also scale to big companies too. So. Excellent, well, thank you so much for your time. All right, well, thank you. <laughs>